Hello, beloved friends. Once again, we are in the Word of God today. Happy Monday. My name is Dwayne. Come with me. Let's get into this Word today. It is a challenging Word. Let's get in and see what God has for us today. Listen to this. Listen to this from the Word of God. The Bible says in Mark chapter 13 and verse 13, And you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. What's Jesus talking about? Well, that's our study of the lesson today. Um, Jesus looks at the magnificent Temple Mount and the disciples come to him and they say, Lord, look at, look at this, look at Jerusalem, look at this mighty temple. Jesus says, this, this temple that you're admiring right now, let me tell you, not one stone, that's the title of our lesson, not one stone will be left upon another in this very city. They didn't understand what Jesus was saying. And then, you know, Peter and James and John and Andrew start to kind of talk to him when everything dies down a little bit there. Lord, when will this be? They're asking him, what, what will be the timing of these things you're talking about? And Jesus then proceeds to, to not just speak to the present time, but the future time. He says that they will be persecuted. He says that there will be wars and rumors of wars in our world. He says that they should see that they are not misled, that there will be false Christ that will arise claiming to be him. Don't follow them. Don't be perturbed. Don't be distressed. Don't get caught up in all the tumult of the age. The end is not yet. Jesus makes clear that in order for them to really establish his kingdom and establish his church, that they who have accepted him as Lord and Savior and are now following him in, in, in a life of discipleship, that that life costs something. We've learned that as we have studied throughout this quarter, that those who will come after Jesus must take up their cross and follow him, that they must deny themselves, that there's a cross to bear. And these disciples have a powerful cross that, will, that many of them will bear to the point of death going forward. Jesus says, don't worry when they bring you before tribunals and when they bring you before government uh, 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 officers and, and you're tried. In that hour, the Holy Spirit will give you what to say. Just speak what God gives you to say because the, the, the word of God, the gospel must also be preached to all the world. And some of the ways that Jesus will preach that gospel, that God will preach that word, that God will use us to spread the gospel will be at the point of trial and death. But Jesus says, he who endures to the end, that person will be saved. What an encouragement for us today. That if we're faithful to God, no matter all that is happening, and we, we hear of wars, don't we hear of wars? Aren't there people around claiming to be Christ, claiming to be prophets? Let's not be misled, and let's not be afraid. Our redemption draweth.